New at 5 o'clock, the return of the H1N1 virus. A teenager in Holbert is one of the first cases of H1N1 in Oklahoma this flu season. That teenager and her family are warning others to watch out for the symptoms and to not take the virus lightly. I went to the Cherokee County community today to learn more. The past few weeks haven't been very pleasant for the Burton family in Holbert. 19-year-old Misty has the H1N1 virus and says it's not getting much better. Like I'm dying, basically. I feel like an 80-year-old woman walking around. Um, I can't do much. Um, uh, I lost 21 pounds since three weeks. To make matters worse, her nine-year-old sister Lakota and her dad, who has a job-related terminal lung disease, may have H1N1 too. Being a parent, you know, you, you just worry about your kids first. The Burtons want other Oklahomans to know the virus is hitting early and hitting hard. I wouldn't want anybody else to have this. It's nothing close to having the regular flu. It's a hundred times worse. Since September of last year, more than 1,200 people had to be hospitalized statewide with the flu. Most of those cases were H1N1. It prompted thousands of people to line up at schools and health clinics to get immunized. This year, the H1N1 vaccine will be combined with the regular flu shot. Health leaders hope the virus doesn't take as much of a toll as last year, but for the Burtons, it already has. It's not an ache pain. It's an actual pain. Um, it hurts so bad that I couldn't stand it. They hope to spread the word about the illness faster than the virus can spread. We take it serious because it is a serious disease. It's very painful. I was shocked that she Except died. for Misty's mom, they're all not feeling well and are cooped up inside. They hope it doesn't get worse, but fear it will. The state health department will begin weekly tracking of the flu, including H1N1 in October. The first flu clinics at public health departments will begin in October, although the vaccine may already be available through some private providers.